Henry's had too much coffee. What are you talking about? Welcome in, everybody. It's a Wednesday. It's a hump day. Here. Yeah. Do it, McGee. Hump day. Thank you, McGee. Billy. Hump day. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 24th of uh, February. And um, it's going to be a rocky day weather-wise. I'm worried about this weather. I'm, I'm with you. I am, too. Looking more at this track of storms. I'm not liking it. <sighs> you know you know what? One of the things that bothers me about this whole thing is that even though, even if we don't get any tornadic activity, which, yes, is a word. Um, <laughs> with a D. We, we are going to get high winds, and that worries me because of all the rain and the saturated uh, grounds. So stay off the roadways just because of the fact that trees can come down at any moment when these winds. We just don't need any more water, do we? We're not going to have a drought this year. But the well, don't uh, say that because surely by now everyone knows. But we're expecting very high winds this afternoon. This uh, front that's come through the deep south, Louisiana, Alabama area has been creating tornadoes, and uh, we're expecting some in eastern North Carolina today. Going to start somewhere early afternoon, so they're letting schools out early. I'm not. You, you need to check witn.com to see if your school's out. Most are three hours. I know Edgecombe County is dismissing four hours early today. Pitt County's three hours. Pitt County's three, but most and uh, check 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 your uh, check with your school or check witn. We'll have a listing on the uh, website. Um, but a damage, high damaging winds, even if we don't get tornadoes, 45 to uh, 60 mile an hour winds in this front coming through. Temperature is going to be warm. This is what happens when you get these warm temperatures and colder air kind of clashing, severe thunderstorms uh, probably through this. This is going to come in this afternoon and be with us till probably mid-evening. And uh, overnight loader now for tonight, 44. Uh, we need to say congratulations to our latest winner in our Dream Kitchen makeover, um, Dan Hesseling. From Bertie County, from Mary Hill, North Carolina, the home of Scotch Hall Plantation, one of the top golf courses in America. Did you see that uh, Golf Advisor ranked Scotch Hall one of the top 20 golf courses in the country? Yeah. Hmm. I think they ranked them 14th. You know who I was talking to about Scotch Hall that loves playing Scotch Hall is the Secretary of Commerce, uh, John Scavarla. was on the phone with him the other day talking about this and uh, talking about some other things and then golf came up and I said have you ever played Scotch Hall he goes I love Scotch Hall I said well you need to come down and we need to go play Scotch Hall one day he's a big golfer he lives in Pinehurst it's not yeah, a bad fact, place I, to golf I think only one maybe two Pinehurst courses rated above Scotch Hall in that ranking yeah that came out Scotch Hall's good Golf time is here, almost. Uh, all right, let's see. We've um, we're going to give another uh, going to give another pass to the show away uh, this hour. So stand by for your chance to win a free pass to the Eastern Home and Living Show, and uh, you will be qualified if you win it to win the Dream Kitchen Makeover. And uh, of course, uh, that you're going to get kitchen cabinets from Garris Evans. Uh, granite countertops from CNC Stoneworks from Wesley Taylor, who does beautiful stoneworks. Oh, the rain just started on the roof. Just started. That's a little early, isn't it? I thought it was coming later. There's a band moving through right now. And um, and also uh, appliances from Ferguson's. And of course, don't forget, make plans to attend the Eastern Home and Living Show at the Greenville Convention Center coming up one week from Saturday on March the fifth. Nine minutes after eight o'clock. Um, you know, we've been so busy this morning with other stuff. I haven't even mentioned that tomorrow morning, live here in the studio, ECU football coach Scotty Montgomery making his uh, second appearance on Talk of the Town. He was on uh, the day we had to give kids a smile day. And uh, Scotty, uh, we, but that was kind of a short kind of, uh, he was over there visiting with the kids, so we grabbed him for a few minutes. Tomorrow morning, um, I believe that's scheduled for 7.35 tomorrow morning. It's going to be in the first hour, Michael, so we've got to shift some stuff around probably. And you've got to keep me on schedule tomorrow morning, which you rarely do. All your fault that I babble on and on, and you never stop me. A good producer wouldn't let me do it. 
So there you go. Scotty Montgomery tomorrow morning. Well, Friday morning, we're going to be live at the convention center to kick off the boat sale, the Eastern North Carolina boat sale coming up uh, this weekend at uh, the convention center. And I'm going to have a hard time with that because I really... You always do. I have to kind of just shut my eyes when I walk through because I, 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 have, I definitely have boat fever. I have boat fever. He's on a boat, Trent. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. I know exactly the boat that I want to. And uh, so Coach Logan and I own a, a boat together, and he's pushing me on a new boat also. What do you, Weaver, I think you should be Coach Logan's uh, partner in the boat. No, you know, people have asked me why I don't own a boat. I love the water, um, love being at the beach, but I have friends that have boats, and those are the best boats to have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm with you on that. Let Same me ask thing with you this question. House. When you ever when you, when you go out <laughs> on someone's boat, do you ever uh, buy the gas or anything? Absolutely. Yeah. You do? I, you know, I have a friend of mine. None of my friends do. Well, you know, it's funny that you say that because <laughs> I have a I have a friend of mine and and we go out on his boat yeah. uh, a lot more often than yeah. other boats. Sure you do. Yeah. And um he's a very good friend of mine. So of course we, you know, we talk about mm -hmm. anything and everything and yeah. he He's he's mentioned before. Man, nobody ever offers to to you know. He, I'll pull up to the. He, he says I'll, I'll pull up to the dock and and fuel up and everybody just kind of disappears. So I make it a point to you know slip him a twenty here, a couple twenties here. That's good. Every so often. Are you buying this, McGee? I, I, th I think Billy would do. I that. think I just he's... shamed him into saying this. No. You know, I sold my first boat because when uh, when gas went to five dollars a gallon at the dock, I was like, I just ain't doing it anymore. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. Not gonna, Not gonna do, do it. it. And so I just didn't do it anymore, and I just sold the boat. And now I'm mad that I sold the boat because gas is now yeah. a dollar. <laughs> By the way, I bought gas in Newburn on Sunday, one fifty-five a gallon. So I, I'm driving up 43 coming back to Greenville. I get to Vanceboro and it's 163. I get back to Greenville, it's like 168. What is that all about? What is that all about? Because the can. 49 in Wilson. It's 49 cents? I'm driving to Wilson to buy gas. Buck, buck 49. Yep. Is it really? I haven't yeah. seen it that low. I saw yeah. a friend of mine that lives down around Clemson, South Carolina, put on Facebook last week 139 down there. But Yeah, Georgia's even probably cheaper. But they got, they got their gas tax is lower. Yeah, yeah, South yeah our gas tax is ridiculous. I'm on, I'm, I'm on that flex fuel plan, 110. Oh, you buy that stuff? One ten. Where, where do you get that from? I you, for you can seven, get it at Speedway. Certain, yeah, certain stations. Yeah, certain Speedways oh, have I'll go for that. Now, what is that? Is that seventeen dollars? Is that like half half gasoline and half horse urine? What is yes. that? I don't. And, know. And I think it's the horse. Hey, if my car runs <laughs> on it, I'm for it. Yeah. No. What is that flex gas? No, I'm afraid to put that in my vehicle. It's I don't a know. blend of, of ethanol. <laughs> it, it, it's it's eighty five percent ethanol and I think uh, fifteen percent gasoline. Uh huh. So yeah. And you think that's okay to I, burn in your car? I don't. I mean, I don't know. Does anybody know? It's cheap. But well, I have a flex fuel vehicle. Oh, you do. I, yeah, I, I, I think, think you have so. To you have, have to have a specific vehicle. What's a flex fuel vehicle? I, I see a lot of that on the Tahoes that say flex fuel on the back of them. Uh huh. Do you notice any difference uh, in the way your your vehicle runs? N no, I you don't. Honestly, no. Well, then, boom. Do flex vehicles cost more? Uh, that I do not know either. Well, you own uh, one. Well, I mean. Mine cost a lot when I got it, you know. Because, you know, hybrids cost more. But some people, you know, like the hybrid. Michael drives the uh, – is your car the plug-in kind of car? No, mine's, yeah. the, mine's the original hybrid, the 2000 Honda Insight. So what do you – what do you do you well, put regular gas this. in it? No, yeah, you and, just put regular gas in it. And how, how long does it – How long, and so your car, like – when you get to a stoplight, the car cuts off. Right, mine shuts down. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you afraid it's not going to start again? Never. And if it doesn't, I just hop out and push start it. I mean, it's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> that would never happen. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. I just hop out in traffic and yeah. push the car. It's, but it, it's never happened. So it's always saying, started up. Well, wait a minute. It sounds like you got experience with this. You say it never happens, but it sounds like if no, it no, does. No, no. It's, 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 never, it's never happened on a stoplight. 
I've had my main battery. Well, how go do you out. hop out of the car and start it by pushing it if you're not in the driver's seat? Doesn't the car take off without you? I mean, <laughs> no, you got to jump back in. And, that doesn't and pop sound the very uh, safe to me. I don't want to be not. around when you it do is, that. It is definitely not safe. <laughs> but I can tell you that the ethanol contains less uh, less energy and less therefore, pickup. So it's fifteen to thirty percent fewer miles per gallon than what you're going to get with the regular gasoline. Ooh, it is. Yeah. I'm out. So it's just cheaper. Yeah, it's cheap. So you know what I'm beginning to see now in uh, the larger cities. I've seen these in um, Raleigh, and I've seen them in Greensboro. And there's one actually at the hotel that I stay at. Uh, I, I, I've gotten so when I go to meetings in Chapel Hill, I can't stay in Chapel Hill. I can't stay in Chapel Hill. So I stay at the South Point at the Hyatt Place, yeah. which, which is a, a great hotel. If I'm in Raleigh, I always stay at the Hampton Inn Suites downtown, which is owned by our Greenville guys, Prime Investments, Tom Glennon, mm-hmm. and uh, and those guys. And uh, they always take good care of me. Uh, and by the way, if you ever need a hotel in downtown Raleigh, if you're in Raleigh for a weekend, that place would be a great place just to go for a weekend. It's on Glenwood Avenue in downtown Raleigh, Hampton Inn and Suites. And you can walk to Sullivan's Restaurant there. There's all sorts of restaurants and bars right there. Uh, my wife and I stayed there for an event uh, not long ago, and we actually walked down to Sullivan's and had dinner. It's great. I stayed there the other night, actually. If I've got to do anything in Raleigh, that's where I stay. But I stay at the Hyatt Place in Durham if I've got a meeting in Chapel Hill, South Point Shopping Center, South Point Mall. And they have one of, they have one of these also, the, the electric car charging mm-hmm. stations. Have you seen these? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen them. Is that where we're headed? I haven't seen one in person yet. I've seen, you know, I saw one, pictures. I saw well. one in Greensboro the other day. I've seen them in Raleigh, Greensboro, and now Durham. Well, I think it's you. And I, don't th- I haven't seen one in Greenville. I, don't, I haven't seen one here yet. No, I haven't seen one here. Uh, if the sales of those cars continue to increase, I think you'll see those more. You know, I've seen a few of those, uh, um, what do you call them? It's like ports or docking stations or you know, whatever the car you that, call um, them. Tom Fetzer, that real... Has, I don't remember that. You know what's it called? The uh, is it called a leaf? No, you know the ones where you have to. Um, you can't buy them at the dealership. You have to kind of order them. Oh, a Tesla. Ones. Tesla. Yeah, a yeah Tesla. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's oh, what those, those are expensive. Those I know. Need, I know one person in Greenville has a Tesla. I do too. Yeah, those are very it's my expensive neighbor. cars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's somebody else. Yeah. Oh okay. So the Tesla. Yeah, I'm not big on the Tesla. But I'm saying those ports are what the Teslas use to. Oh, it is. Right? Isn't that what I, they use? I, I don't know about that. Oh, okay. Why? Why are you not big on the Tesla? You know, I, I, the automobile sales are a big part of our economy. I don't want to see the car. And the, you buy those directly to the fa- from the factory. I don't want to see the car dealers get hurt like that. And they, you know, of course, for us, car dealers are a big part of our advertising base. You know, when I was over in Germany, I saw a lot of those cars, Teslas. Um, but, you know, the German people are very into being energy efficient. You go When you go on the Autobahn, you see windmills everywhere. Um, yeah. Kind of uh, like when you drive in California. Yeah, a lot of windmills <laughs> and a lot of uh, solar farms that you see everywhere. Renewable energy is a very big deal over there. Yeah. Uh, we have a, Here's something we haven't talked about. Uh, I've got you two sports guys in here. Uh, tonight is uh, Carolina NC State. Of course, East Carolina plays at 8 o'clock tonight on ESPN News. Pirates have Tulane tonight in New Orleans. Uh, but at eight, also at 8 o'clock tonight... Um, do you guys have this on your side channel? Who has the local yes. ACC game? This is we do, 7.2. Carolina and State tonight at uh, 8 o'clock. Why is this game at 8 o'clock? This game's at NC State tonight. And the big uh, brouhaha this week about Roy Williams. I, I, methinks Roy doth protest too much. <laughs> Roy has you know, a, spoken like Roy a true has a way with but, words. But you know... Uh, you know who Doug Gottlieb is? Yes. Oh, yeah. He's course, kind of a yeah. second-rate, nobody, uh, talk radio host. Nobody carries him. Nobody listens to him. But, you know, he's he's out there doing talk radio, and he's a well, – He guy. played basketball, too, at Oklahoma State. He played at Oklahoma State, and he played against Roy when Roy was coaching at Kansas. He used to be with ESPN. And so last weekend, he made the comment – or it might have been after the Duke game that they no, lost. No, it, it, it was Saturday before the Miami game. Be- I saw bef- the comments. Before yeah. the Miami game. He made the comment that he would not be surprised to see Roy Williams retire at the end of the year. 
He's got he's got to have knee surgery. He's had all these other health problems with his um, um, vertigo. 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 And uh, he's getting up in years, and he wouldn't be surprised to see Roy and Williams. And the investigation's going on. The investigation with Chapel Hill, all that. And so Roy just has been going ballistic about that this week. And I think he, I think he went over the top. Just say, you know, this. yeah, I don't know where Doug got that from. Yeah, move yeah. on. If, if, and but, move on. But Roy just can't do that, can he? He just has to make a big deal no, out of it. He can't. And And he continues to just... So when somebody asked him about, I mean, he even he even took a personal shot at Doug Gottlieb by saying, "Look, when, when I was playing against Doug Gottlieb, when when he was Backwards playing, when he was pants. playing against me, he he, he he the guy's so dumb he put his pants on backwards." And so now all the uh, the sports guys have gone and found the video of the night that Oklahoma State played against Kansas when Doug Gottlieb was the point guard, and he showed up on the court and his pants were on backwards. Eddie Sutton was the coach at Oklahoma State at the time. And they, they, they called a timeout, and they all gathered around Doug Gottlieb so the crowd and the TV cameras couldn't see him, and he changed his pants right in the middle of the circle right on, on the side of the court. <laughs> and Roy has brought that up. Like, like that's relevant somehow to the conversation because he's so dumb he can't do that. This is not the first time there's been speculation that Roy Williams is going to retire, is it? No. I don't think so. And, and I think it's know, the first time someone like Doug Gottlieb in a setting like that on on CBS, national TV, has, has said it Was so it on CBS freely. or was it on like the CBS No, it was on CBS. Channel? He it said it the day before. Yeah, before but he didn't even say, I'm hearing Roy's going to retire. He, was, he said, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Right, right. And, and that's we say that all the time. We talk about stuff when, you, when you're in a setting like that and you talk about you know, well, what just what, makes that's common what journalists sense. journalists do. Yeah. You know? And then he brought up Hubert Davis being a possible replacement. Someone like Hubert Davis, which I think is unlikely, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but Roy has to let that go, man. Just, just comment on it and move yeah, on. Let it go. Yeah, absolutely. Move on. All right. It's uh, 23 minutes after 8 o'clock. Uh, coming up, your chance to win another uh, free ticket to the home show. The 2016 Eastern Home and Living Show coming to the Greenville Convention Center a week from Saturday. Bring your friends. Going to be a big deal. We got uh, something like uh, 100 exhibitors. Uh, we're going to have the bouncy houses out there. We're going to have a lot of fun. And somebody's going to win a free kitchen for their very own home, and you can qualify to win it later this hour, so stand by. And Henry Hinton's going to be in one of the bouncy houses, so you can come I, by and throw stuff at I want to do that. I, you know, I miss the bouncy house era. Were, were you here last week we talked about this? No. I feel cheated about many things of my childhood, and bouncy houses would be in the top five. Wow. I mm-hmm. didn't get any bouncy houses. But you guys didn't either. No. no there were no bouncy houses when you, Yeah. You guys are the generation behind me. You didn't get the bouncy houses. You know, the one thing um, that I would have liked as a little kid are the little... Um, the little cars, the little you know, the little battery operated cars that you my sit grandson in. has one. Those are you know, sweet, like a little Jeep or yeah. a little, you know, yeah. convertible car or whatever that you troll around the house with. My grandson uh, has one that we ride around the neighborhood, uh, and he drives. Uh, the six year old drives it, and the two year old sits over there and wishes he could drive it. Yeah, yeah. He wants to drive it, and ours is a pimping car. A pimping car. It's a, it's a caddy. Oh yeah, it's it's got it the Escalade. It's a black it's a black caddy, and you know my grandson drives it around the neighborhood with his hat cocked sideways and his sunglasses. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Street cred. <laughs> got to keep it up. Yeah, though they love that thing. They love they getting that. Car. Yeah, see that that's another thing yeah. we missed when we were kids. We were we were clearly deprived. <laughs> yeah. Twenty four after uh, eight o'clock. Weather's coming, folks. I'll just had a. Uh, Band of, th- of uh, rain come through green, but we heard it pass right over the uh, the top of the roof here. We'll talk more about that and a lot of other things coming up. One of my, I'm just looking at the schedule. My buddy Sean Moore is going to be here this morning from uh, the uh, East Carolina University Alumni Association. The uh, the Pirate Chase is it the Pirate Chase? It's the uh, the pi- Pirate Road Race the, and Fun pi- Run. The Pirate Road Race is coming up. So if you'd like to participate in those, and that you know they they throw the purple glitter on you and all that. The dusting. Yep. Yep. You don't have to have that, but uh, so yeah, Sean, that's the fun of it. Though. Sean yeah. will tell us about that in a couple of minutes, and uh, someone will qualify for the kitchen. We got sports, 
and a lot more. And again, don't forget, tomorrow morning, live in the studio, Coach Mo, Scotty Montgomery, the new head coach of East Carolina, live in our studio tomorrow morning, 25 after 8. New year, new ways to save here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Lease the new 2016 Jeep Compass for only $99 a month. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard for everything golf. Gordon's carries all the high-quality brands of clubs, including Ping, Titleist, Mizuno, Callaway, and TaylorMade. Get your old clubs repaired, reshafted, or regripped. Come in today and let our teaching pro find the right fit for you. We have a wide selection of clothing, including Travis Matthew, Adidas, Oakley, Mizuno, and Puma. We have Echo and Foot Joy shoes, too. The Sky Caddy GPS is a must-have for every golfer. Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard, East Arlington Boulevard, Greenville. Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is now open. That's right, folks. There's a brand new beautiful dealership on Highway 264 in Washington. The city of Washington now has a new dealership focused on making your experience as comfortable and easy as possible. For the best price, selection, service, and a great customer experience, stop in to see us at the beautiful new Washington Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 264 in Washington and visit WashingtonChrysler.com. Leave the old year behind and welcome a new you with Progenix. Lose up to 75 pounds in just 12 weeks with the medically managed HCG diet. Our exclusive Diet Master system and powerful lipotropic treatments. Only the medical doctors at Progenix can deliver amazing results without surgery or hunger. Progenix provides proven weight loss solutions and the tools to maintain your new healthy lifestyle. Call Progenix today. Rock your colors as ECU men's basketball battles Cincinnati this Saturday, February 27th at noon. The first 500 fans will receive a free foam finger and all pirate gear is 25% off at the Dowdy Store in Minji's on game day. Be undaunted. Order your tickets today by calling 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. That's pirate men's basketball versus the Bearcats this Saturday at noon. prescription refills my son shot records my doctor's appointments my lab results my parents care my chart Vident my chart Vident my chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way visit VidentMyChart.com or call 1-855-MY-VIDENT to learn how you can sign up New year, new ways to save here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Receive a total savings of $10,000 or lease a new Ram for just $2.99 a month. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. All right, Sean Moore is live in the studio this morning. This is ECU week. We've got Sean this morning from the Alumni Association. We've got Scotty Montgomery, which is not nearly as big, Sean, <laughs> tomorrow morning. And then Friday morning, we're going to be live at the convention center. You know who's going to stop by and be on with us? Uh, Rick Kobe. Who just won a championship. The very victorious the second swimming coach. From ECU, who is a great human being, Kobe's awesome, isn't he? And they just they want they just won back to back American Athletic Association swim titles. And by the way, little known fact, I don't uh, Weaver, do you know this fact? At some point next season, at some point yep. next season, Rick Kobe will become the all time winningest coach in college history. Swim From coach, East yeah. Carolina University, yeah. swimming coach, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think he was uh, fifth on the list um, just just last season. So I think, yeah, yeah I think he'll definitely surpass that. Yeah. He's East Carolina's Coach K. Yeah, he is. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So Kobe's going to join us uh, live at the convention center. But I a figured, better golfer. I figured since we were going to be there among the boats, we'd make it a water theme, swimming, well, water. There you go. 
So, uh, Coach Kobe will be with us at the convention center live on uh, Friday morning as we kick off the Eastern Home and uh, the Eastern uh, Boat Show. The Eastern Home Show and Home and Living Show will be the next week. And uh, so we'll be there again for that. 8.30. It's uh, half past uh, nine, uh, half past uh, 8 o'clock. And uh, Billy Weaver is here with our very latest news information. A stormy day coming, folks. Could be a potentially dangerous tornado threats and the like. Here's Billy Weaver with our news update. Good morning, Billy. Good morning, Henry. It's currently 830, 63 degrees in Greenville. I am Billy Weaver, and this is a look at your WITN News headlines. Officials have released the name of a woman who died in a fatal apartment fire. The fire took place on Gherkin Street inside the reserve at the Glen Burnie apartment complex in New Bern. City officials identified the victim who died as Elizabeth Bader. Fire officials believe that Bader may have fallen asleep and was unable to escape the building once the fire started. Fire departments responded around 9 a.m. yesterday morning. Uh, the investigation into exactly what caused the fire is ongoing. We're told there was around $25,000 worth of damage done to the building. Well, police have arrested a Halifax County murder suspect who had barricaded himself inside a home. Multiple media outlets reported that a Charlotte Mecklenburg police SWAT team was called into a home shortly after 3 a.m. yesterday morning. It was there where police say they arrested 20 year old Taekwon Powell of Charlotte without any incident. The, Havlick, the Halifax County Sheriff's Office says Powell is wanted in the killing of 24-year-old Jimmy Daniels Jr. of Scotland Neck. Police say Daniels was shot as he sat in a vehicle on January 26. Two other people were hurt. Police also are looking for a Scotland Neck man in connection to that shooting. An Onslow County man previously arrested for several sex offenses with minors has pleaded guilty after authorities say he sexually molested several family members. 49-year-old Benito Venegas of uh, Richlands has pleaded guilty to five counts of indecent liberties with a child. He was originally arrested back in 2010 and faced 19 sex offense charges, including first-degree statutory rape of a child. As part of the plea deal, a judge sentenced Venegas to serve between six years and three months in prison and eight years and three months in prison. He will also be deported to Mexico upon his release from prison. And a fire Tuesday morning heavily damaged an auto repair business in Havelock. Smoke from the fire at Gearheads on US 70 could be seen for miles away. Three different fire departments battled the fire, taking them about 30 minutes to get it under control. Fortunately, no one was injured in that fire. The fire chief says they're not exactly sure exactly what started the fire. At least two cars inside that business were destroyed by the fire. It is currently 833, 63 degrees in Greenville. I'm Billy Weaver, and that's a look at your WITN News headlines. Henry. All right. Thank you, sir. Nice to have you here, Weave. Thank you. Uh, taking mom to breakfast now? That's what we do. I don't know. Maybe the weather. Maybe we no, might, we might grab something and eat in. Weather will be fine. Take her out to breakfast, you tightwad. <laughs> <laughs> she always she... buys yours anyway, doesn't she? Yes, McDonald's. Woohoo! <laughs> no, uh, come on. Do better than that. Take her to the if egg I'm buying, yolk. We're going to make it Take her to the egg yolk, man. Come on. You know what? We do need to go there. It's Absolutely. not a bad place to go. There's a uh, lot of good breakfast places around yeah, here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wish or, the egg... or as Henry calls them, greasy spoons. Well, That's no, what I one, want my no, business No, those aren't called. the good ones. Those are the ones I go to. <laughs> I go to the greasy spoons, but there are some good ones. See, here's the problem. The egg yolk's not open when I come to work. It'll open until 7. Yeah. I've talked to Frank over there about opening early for me. Just, go, you know, give, open at 6.30 and I'll be there right at 6.30. Here's McGee with our weather update. McGee, give us this news that we all need to hear about today's very dangerous forecast. Yeah, Bill, if you went to lunch this afternoon, that may be a different story for you and your mom because thunderstorms could develop as early as 1 o'clock and the threat for severe weather will go on until about 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, not all thunderstorms will be severe locally, but there will be heavy downpours likely. Uh, you could expect minor flooding, uh, decreased visibility as a cold front um, as this uh, warm and cold front mixed together, severe weather risk all the way from 1 o'clock through 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, chance of tornadoes uh, is likely, and you heard the National Weather Service say earlier this morning that could be on par with what some of the Gulf Coast states saw on Tuesday. Dry weather returning on Thursday with temperatures uh, staying in the upper 40s, and for your Friday, cooling off just a little bit more, but sunny skies with a high of 49 degrees. My friend Ken Raper, who is with the uh, Carteret County Sheriff's Department, has just sent me the latest advisory from the National Weather Service. And uh, they are saying that there is high confidence that severe weather is going to develop. And um, 
they're talking about um, potential for EF2 tornadoes or greater wind gusts in excess of 70 miles per hour, high end severe weather, heavy rain, isolated flooding, strong gusty gradient winds, high surf advisory. And, of course, they're saying be prepared, monitor. Everyone should monitor the weather closely today if you have plans to be out and about this afternoon into the evening hours. Make, make plans now on how to keep safe if severe weather threatens. Given the potential strength and high likelihood of severe weather, treat severe thunderstorm warnings with the highest of urgency today, just like a thunder, uh, like a tornado warning. Again, the National Weather Service is advising you to treat severe thunderstorm warnings with the same sense of urgency as a tornado warning because of the threat of high winds. And, of course, uh, tornado activity, if there is a tornado warning, again, you need to stick close to media today or check your smartphones to with the app that you are most confident. Uh, WITN has a great app. Yeah, they do. If you haven't got WITN's app, I'd suggest that you download it because you can click on that immediately, get weather information. And Matt Engelbrecht is great at updating that, and so are the guys, uh, Jim Howard and everybody else over at WITN. But there is a severe eastern North Carolina threat today, and I've just been sent the entire threat assessment from the National Weather Service. And we don't get this kind of information normally, folks. So this is serious stuff, and everybody needs to realize that we could be headed for a tough afternoon. They're saying... Now, mid to late afternoon is the greatest threat, but they are releasing most schools early today because of this. Our news and weather uh, brought to you by Pew's Tire and Service Center. Founder George Pew empowered the family and employees to do the right thing 70 years ago, and doing so has allowed them to grow and have the pleasure to now serve Pitt, Beaufort, and Martin counties. Doing the right thing also means offering you the right tires for your vehicle. Happy anniversary to Pew's Tire. They've been rolling now for fit for 70 years. I actually had breakfast this morning with Sammy Pugh, who is now the patriarch after Granddad George passed. Sammy's the, Sammy's the dad now. All the boys are involved. What a great family business. Sammy was telling me this morning he's getting ready to have his 50th wedding anniversary. Isn't that great? For quality tires, along with service you can trust in Greenville, Washington, and Williamston, choose Pew's where your first price is the right price, guaranteed. All right, to break at 8.38. Sean Moore from the uh, Pirate Alumni Association here this morning. Got a big uh, opportunity for you folks that like road races coming up. We'll talk about that and give you a chance to qualify in the kitchen giveaway still to come this morning. We'll be right back. Rock your colors as ECU men's basketball battles Cincinnati this Saturday, February 27th at noon. The first 500 fans will receive a free foam finger, and all Pirate gear is 25% off at the Dowdy Store in Minji's on game day. Be undaunted. Order your tickets today by calling 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. That's Pirate Men's Basketball versus the Bearcats this Saturday at noon. It's golf season, and now's the time to get to Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard for everything golf. Gordon's carries all the high-quality brands of clubs, including Ping, Titleist, Mizuno, Callaway, and TaylorMade. Get your old clubs repaired, reshafted, or regripped. Come in today and let our teaching pro find the right fit for you. We have a wide selection of clothing, including Travis Matthew, Adidas, Oakley, Mizuno, and Puma. We have Echo and FootJoy shoes, too. The Sky Caddy GPS is a must-have for every golfer. Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard, East Arlington Boulevard, Greenville. There's a new name and convenience in eastern North Carolina. All Wilco has stores are now Speedway. What makes Speedway different? They understand people's needs. There are many choices out there, but Speedway recognizes that nothing less than outstanding service, a wide selection of products, and a real value for your dollar will attract loyal customers. More than anything, Speedway offers convenience. Come see us at Speedway, serving 22 states in the U.S. and now proud to serve the communities right here in eastern North Carolina. 
Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. The Coastal Conservation Association is an organization of saltwater anglers whose goal is to protect marine resources statewide and nationally. We're working to improve saltwater fishing for recreational fishermen. From the Gulf to the North Atlantic, our chapters are the watchdogs of the saltwater fishing industry, working in partnership with state wildlife and fish agencies. Our coastal waters are valuable natural resources that must be protected. Call your local CCA chapter today. All righty, welcome in to Talk of the Town, 841, and now we're going to talk about things going on at ECU. My buddy Sean Moore, who is with the uh, East Carolina University Alumni Association, is here. We're going to talk about some things coming up for alumni. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm a little damp on the edges, but... I was uh, going to say, you drove through the rain to get <laughs> I here. This, I did, only for you. It's pounding the roof right now. It it's is, can, these, I uh, mean... These rain bands are coming in already. As soon as you went to break, I could yeah, hear it rolling yeah, over. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to be a fun day. All right, so you've got the uh, you got the annual uh, Alumni Association Pirate Road Race coming up. We do. Is it's, that what you're calling it? Uh, it's a Pirate Alumni Road Race and Fun Run. Okay. Um, it's our ninth one, uh, and we've actually moved it back a weekend. We usually do it Pirate Fest weekend, but we decided this year to... Uh, do it on the Purple Gold weekend. Um, so we're the kickoff event on Saturday, amongst other fabulous things. Uh, we actually moved it up an hour as well to 8 o'clock so people can participate in our race and then get cleaned up and then go over to the stadium and participate in media day and the So barbecue. are we officially not calling it Pig Out Weekend anymore? Um, uh, no, I don't know what the official name is. I just say purple gold because it's the purple gold pigskin pig out something something, okay. and I can never remember it. Yeah. So for me, it was always purple gold game. I can actually still do it. The great pirate purple gold pigskin pig out party. There you go. There's just too many peas. Yeah. <laughs> too many so, peas. But they'll still have the pigs and all that. They will. I mean, which it's we'll all... talk about that. We they, we're here to talk about the road race. That's today. all right. Uh, so 8 a.m. that day. 8 a.m. What's, what's this the day? date? Um, it's the 16th uh, of reg uh, April. April. Okay. Uh, registration's open right now. Actually, uh, this is the last couple of days of our early bird for twenty dollars up until the first of March, and then it goes up to twenty five. Uh, you have to register by the fifteenth if you want to guarantee yourself a T-shirt, um, which is awesome. Uh, and then the day of the race, it goes up to thirty dollars, and we're leaving out of uh, registration happens and the packet pickup happens at UBE. They let us come the day before, um, and then we do all our stuff kind of in the Chico's parking lot, what they call the Georgetown parking. Line. Right. That's where everything starts. Uh, you run up Fifth Street, turn around just past Wall Coats, and run back. Uh, Fun Run is actually up to the stoplight to turn into the University on Fifth Street, and you come back. Uh, I would like runners to know if you don't want color, we will have a separate lane for you. <laughs> will does not like color. Oh, your hubby doesn't uh, like the color. No, and he refused so, but, to run the last couple of times. <laughs> so, so if you if you're in one lane, you get splattered with gold glitter, a um, actually, purple glitter. It is actually uh, dust hypoallergenic, completely biodegradable uh, dust. It's kind of like cornstarch, actually. Yeah. And I have a bunch of different colors. Uh, vibrant yeah. greens, yellows, So pinks. if you want to get spread, so that happens at the finish line? No, it actually happens at the start. Oh. Um, because when you come back, you're really sweaty, and it tends to stick oh, really yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah, I got um, you. So we get you going uh, right out, right onto Fifth Street, um, but we'll have a separate lane for people yeah. who don't want it. So the kids love that. They do. The uh, that. We've had about, I think I have about 150 people signed up already. I really like to get to my 500 number again uh, because this supports scholarships. That's um, a huge number of people racing two, down Fifth Street. Two years ago, I had 500 people. Yeah. Last year, I had between 140 and 480. So you can walk. You can. You can walk if you want to, or Absolutely. you can jog. Mm -hmm. So it's a fun run. Now, is the fun run the same distance? No, it's only a mile. So where do you go, like up to the Chancellor's House and back or something? Uh, it's the stoplight to turn in to the oh, university. Oh, oh, the main turn You weren't paying in. attention. I, I said that I'm earlier. Sorry. Sorry about <laughs> That's okay. That. Uh, yeah, and we have, you know, we have people along the route telling you where to turn around. I actually have golf carts actually 
leading and chasing the walkers in case somebody gets tired. Uh, <laughs> they have a little bunch of little kids in the walk. So, right. um, and uh, we have a great timing company that we work with, and it goes to fund our scholarships, which are super important. Um, they just gave me the numbers yesterday. In the last five, 10 years, we've given out about $350,000 in scholarships, wow. um, which is, it's uh, merit-based, but also need-based as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you can only have, I think it's $6,000 of aid. So we're mm-hmm. on top of that. Mm-hmm. Um, and we awarded 27 this last year. Um, and it really means a lot uh, to the students who, you know, just don't make these big, great big scholarships, but they still need some extra cash. Books are expensive. Just think in years to come, you could actually start this at the new Alumni Center, which is going to be at yeah. the corner of Reed, I mean, Reed and 5th Street. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Reed and 4th. Reed and 4th Street. I'm very yeah. excited about that. Which um, is in uh, the new hotel we hear is about to get started downtown Greenville. I will be very happy the day the, the shovel hits. It's the dirt. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have a new hotel right there at the corner of 4th and Reed, and the Alumni yeah. Center is going to be right across the street. Uh, well, we are actually in the hotel. We have a condo, um, and we will also have a rooftop bar um, that will be ours. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. So um, So is, is the Alumni Center going to be on the same side of the street? It's, mm-hmm. It is going to be on the same side well, of the street. It's going to be uh, – it's, it's, we're going to actually be facing um, Reed Street. You know, somebody asked me this week if we have a rooftop bar, in Green, and we're one of the few – burgeoning cities now that doesn't have a rooftop bar so we're going to have one wait and see yeah well if everything goes as planned you know um our board is um you know gave us approval to keep working and we're really excited about possibilities you know it's not a completely done deal yet um yeah. but we're very excited so you're not going to get in trouble for talking about it aren't we i don't know probably <laughs> um, <clears throat> I didn't mean for you to get that deep. Sorry, into it. Uh, but you know, uh, uh, you know, other people have gotten in trouble for talking about this in the past, as you know. So we'll be, you'll be fine. I hope so. You, you'll be fine. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's exciting that yeah. you know once we get everything worked out, I think it'll be working. All yeah. right, so let's uh, reiterate uh, April sixteenth, which is uh, Purple and Gold Pigskin Weekend. That's right. Uh, Register eight, now. Eight o'clock a.m. is yep. when the start. Uh, that's when the start of the registration. It's the start of the race. Registration right. starts around seven. Uh, people who want to register go to piratealumni.com. They do it online. Piratealumni.com. So you 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 need to do that, not just show up at UBE that morning. Uh, you can, but we would really prefer that you do it ahead yeah, of time. Right. Uh, because, you know, sometimes those lines get really long and we're, you know, trying to start the race right at 8 o'clock and we mm-hmm. want to make sure that everything's taken care of. You're the best. Thanks. You're the best. I'll be back to talk about golf and alumni awards later. Okay, good. <laughs> we love having you. Thank you. Always good to see you. Hopefully you, you didn't get me fired. You can <laughs> <laughs> Never. You, you keep us informed on what's happening on campus. We appreciate it. Sean Moore from the Alumni Association at ECU. PirateAlumni.com. More information about the Pirate Road Race and Fun Run coming up April 16th at 8 a.m. in the morning down the beautiful 5th Street Corridor right there along the historic part of uh, East Carolina University. It's uphill, unfortunately. Drove a friend of mine. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Drove a friend of mine through that uh, area the other day. He'd never been down that way before, and he was uh, impressed. He was like, man. This is uh, really uh, historic looking. Well yeah. yeah, well, yeah. It's beautiful. It really yeah. is. It's, but you go uphill on the way up, but on the way back, you're downhill, so that's good. <laughs> I'd rather be downhill coming back. That's right. All right, Sean, thank you. You're welcome. All right, 849. Let's open up the phone lines and uh, give away another ticket to the uh, expo. Want to? The 2016 Home and Living Expo coming to the convention center a week from Saturday, which is March the 5th. We will take caller number six right now at uh, 561 8255. 252 area code 252 561 8255. Caller number six, you got a free ticket to the expo and you will be qualified to win the dream kitchen makeover in your very own home. Call right now, 561 8255. We'll be right back. 25 years of savings. 25 years of community service. It's Greenville Toyota's 25th anniversary celebration. To celebrate, take up to 25% off MSRP on new Toyotas. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us 15 minutes, we can lower your payment.
Full Service Flooring is your exclusive platinum dealer for Carndine Design Flooring. By offering a wide and impressive range of colors, textures, and finishes, you can create the looks that are unique to your home and guaranteed to last for years. Stop by Full Service Flooring today and check out our design table that makes your creations come to life. With the largest and best collection of luxury vinyl tile in Carndine, Full Service Flooring has just what you've been looking for. Visit the new showroom just off Fire Tower Road behind Chick-fil-A or give them a call at 756-9308. Rock your colors as ECU men's basketball battles Cincinnati this Saturday, February 27th at noon. The first 500 fans will receive a free foam finger and all pirate gear is 25% off at the Dowdy Store in Minji's on game day. Be undaunted. Order your tickets today by calling 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. That's Pirate Men's Basketball versus the Bearcats this Saturday at noon. My prescription refills. My son shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents care. My chart. Fight at my chart. Vident MyChart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidantMyChart.com or call 1-855-MYVIDENT to learn how you can sign up. I remember sitting on the couch one day thinking my life is nothing like it used to be. The treatment at Progenix was above and beyond what I expected. The weight started coming off, my energy levels started going up, sleeping better. Um, everything about me just skyrocketed. I feel like a girl again, buying nicer clothes and actually getting attention. And <laughs> I highly recommend Progenix. It has changed my life. 25 years of savings, 25 years of community service. It's Greenville Toyota's 25th anniversary celebration. Celebrate by getting the Greenville Toyota Advantage on every new Toyota. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us 15 minutes, we can lower your payment. All righty then. Uh, congratulations to Josh Kuntz, this morning's winner. Josh Kuntz, the uh, winner in the uh, Dream Kitchen Makeover Sweepstakes. Uh, Josh lives at, you say Cove City? Cove City. Cove City. Where's Cove City? Craven County, just north of Trenton. Oh, yeah, Cove City. Just sure. south of Fort Barnwell. Okay, I know exactly where it is. Like Highway 55 area. I believe that's it. Josh Kuntz is the winner this hour. Josh gets a uh, free ticket to the 2016 Eastern Home and Living Expo, March the 5th. And now he is qualified to win the Dream Kitchen Makeover. Fourth year where we give away an entire kitchen makeover for your home from uh, Garris Evans. All the cabinets, all the appliances will come from Ferguson Enterprises. And all of the uh, countertops from uh, Wesley Taylor who does beautiful granite countertops from C&C Stoneworks. So we're now a week away, a week and a few days away from the, uh, from the Home and Living Expo. Congratulations, Josh. All right, it's 8.53. Let's check some sports headlines now. Here's McGee on sports. All right, Hen, ECU baseball moved to 4-0 and on the season with an 11-2 win over North Carolina A&T Tuesday afternoon. The Pirates will get back at it on Friday. Three-game road trip at one of the country's best college baseball teams, UVA. That series in Charlottesville beginning on Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. ECU's men's basketball team looks to snap a six-game losing skid tonight when the Pirates take on Tulane in New Orleans. Step off a set for 8 o'clock in that one. Also tonight, number 7, North Carolina at NC State. Tar Heels have won 10 of 12 in Raleigh. Roy Williams on Tuesday continuing to address the Doug Gottlieb retirement speculation comments. It was unfounded because there's, no, there's only one source. There's only one. And Roy Williams has never said anything about that, never led anybody to believe anything like that. That was just a guy stating his opinion that I didn't appreciate because he acted like there was something to it. Tip off for that game tonight. Did he just Set. refer to himself in third person? He did. Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah, he did, uh, which he's done in the past. Yeah. Typical Google, Roy, I guess. Google that. <laughs> Tip off is set for 8 o'clock tonight with the Tar Heels in the Wolfpack from PNC Arena. Yeah. <laughs> just Roy can't let it go. Let it go, Roy. Let it go, Roy. Sports update brought to you this hour by our friends at Suddenlink, where the Switch and Shout event is underway. If you haven't switched yet, you should switch and then shout. 
because you'll get a great price, $69 a month for three great products from Suddenlink. You uh, basically buy two, get the third free. It's the uh, SL200 HD TV, 100 meg internet, and uh, home phone for just $69 a month. You also get DVR with that, which I do. I have it set every week to record billions on Showtime. I, you know what? A good friend of mine and I are both watching it, 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 Sunday night's episode of Billions. Off the scale. Epic. Some of the great acting I've ever seen in that show. It's about this guy who's a billionaire hedge fund owner, one of the richest people in the world, and uh, this federal prosecutor is out to get him for uh, insider trading. Mm. A lot of twists and turns. There's a great scene, great scene, where they're sitting at the uh, conference room table and the prosecutor looks at him and says, uh, well, we got you, but I'm going to settle uh, $1.9 and the guy goes, hmm, $1.9 billion. That's a bee sting for me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's a yeah, he is loaded. Love that, man. I guess we're all living vicariously through that. Yes. Uh, if you don't have suddenly, call him today, 866-432-1184. 866-432-1184. You can visit him at suddenlink.com. Remember, you always get a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer service, live local customer service. All right, we're out of here. Don't forget, tomorrow morning, live in the studio with us, ECU's new football coach, Coach Mo, Scotty Montgomery. We'll see you tomorrow. 25 years of savings, 25 years of community service. It's Greenville Toyota's 25th anniversary celebration. Celebrate by getting the Greenville Toyota Advantage on every new Toyota. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us 15 minutes, we can lower your payment. It's golf season, and now's the time to get to Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard for everything golf. Gordon's carries all the high-quality brands of clubs, including Ping, Titleist, Mizuno, Callaway, and TaylorMade. Get your old clubs repaired, reshafted, or regripped. Come in today and let our teaching pro find the right fit for you. We have a wide selection of clothing, including Travis Matthew, Adidas, Oakley, Mizuno, and Puma. We have Echo and Foot Joy shoes, too. The Sky Caddy GPS is a must-have for every golfer. Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard, East Arlington Boulevard, Greenville. Are you struggling with extra weight? Are you tired of being tired? We can help you at Progenix Health Solutions. Our goal is to restore health, youth, and vitality to greatly improve quality of your life. We specialize in bioidentical hormone replacement therapy and weight loss programs. At Progenix, we identify your goals and how to get you there. With a few simple changes in the way you approach your health and lifestyle, you can expect a longer and healthier quality of life. You can find more information on ProgenixNC.com. Don't wait. Call today. We all want to be recognized because sometimes we want our voices heard. And we want to recognize you when you come to make your voice heard at the voting booth. This election, you'll be asked to show a photo ID at the polls. And if for some reason you can't get one, no worries. You'll still be able to vote. Just come to the polls and we'll help you cast your ballot. This election, be recognized because every voice matters. For information or help getting a free ID, visit voterid.nc.gov. Full Service Flooring is your exclusive platinum dealer for Carndine Design Flooring. By offering a wide and impressive range of colors, textures, and finishes, you can create the looks that are unique to your home and guaranteed to last for years. Stop by Full Service Flooring today and check out our design table that makes your creations come to life. With the largest and best collection of luxury vinyl tile in Carndine, Full Service Flooring has just what you've been looking for. Visit the new showroom just off Fire Tower Road behind Chick-fil-A or give them a call at 756-9308. There's a new name and convenience in Eastern North Carolina. All Wilco has stores are now Speedway. What makes Speedway different? They understand people's needs. There are many choices out there, but Speedway recognizes that nothing less than outstanding service, a wide selection of products, and a real value for your dollar will attract loyal customers. More than anything, Speedway offers convenience. Come see us at Speedway, serving 22 states in the U.S. and now proud to serve the communities right here in Eastern North Carolina. 25 years of savings, 25 years of community service. It's Greenville Toyota's 25th anniversary celebration. To celebrate, take up to 25% off MSRP on new Toyotas. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us 15 minutes, we can lower your payment.
downtown station.